Honorable Speaker of the House, Prime Minister, Leader, the Opposition, and all other members of the House, good afternoon. My name is Ngozi, and I am seven years old. Thank you for letting us be the very first group of children in Jamaican history to stand here and present to you. With me are Tafari, who is also seven, Kino, who is 10, and Shanil, who is 18 and spent most of her childhood in state care. We are here today as advocates for a violence-free Jamaica. We love our country, but we hate the violence that is hurting the bodies minds and spirits of Jamaican children. We hate the violence that is making children so afraid, the violence that is taking their lives. We are very concerned about what is happening to poor children and what is happening into your children. Honorable adults, listen to us, please. Many of us are afraid to go to school, afraid to go home, afraid to go outside in our communities. We live in fear that we will be the next victims of violence. Ladies and gentlemen, our fear is based on the heartbreaking reality that many of us are being bullied, many of us are being beaten. Many of us are being sexually and emotionally abused. And we are being murdered. This violence started in the days of slavery. And to this day it continues. So I ask you, what are you doing to help break the cycle? One thing you can do is to listen to us. We are living with this violence every day. We are seeing it happen all around us, and we have a lot to say. Over the last three months, almost 300 children in three parishes spoke up about violence at sessions organized by UNICEF, the Office of the Children's Advocate, and Talk of Youth. We learned about the rights we have in the Convention on the Rights of the Child. And we reasoned about what it means to have these rights. Like the right to share our thoughts as we are here doing today. Let me bring you into our world. I will now read some of the experiences of violence that were shared by children at these sessions. This is what they wrote in their own words. Number one, between the age of five to 10, I was exposed to physical abuse. It was a case where I had been beaten to the point where it felt like nothing to me. Her excuse for beating me so harshly was that she was trying to discipline me, but still it didn't cover up for her scars that are left from her gruesome disciplinary actions that are still haunting me today. Number two, I have seen gunmen 
kill men. Number three, I have been sexually abused by my father's friend. Number four, I have seen parents verbally, emotionally, and physically abuse their child or children because of their reports. The children were told that they were worthless and would not turn out to be anything good in life. This left the children feeling unwanted, deserted, and some even started to feel suicidal. Number six, my grandmother lives in a very bad community. Sorry, number five. Dear Prime Minister, where I live, there are a lot of pedophiles, so I'm afraid of going to the shops when it's dark. Number six, my grandmother lives in a very bad community, and sometimes I have to stay with her. Gunshots are fired very often. Most of the times, it's with the intention of killing someone. Often shots are fired very close to her house. I have witnessed multiple drive-by shootings, stabbings, and people being killed at her doorstep. At my age, these things are very terrifying. These are only six of the hundreds of experiences that were shared by children just in the last three months. At every one of these sessions, most of the children had either experienced or witnessed violence. This means a lot of children in Jamaica are dealing with a lot of pain. Research from around the world shows that this kind of trauma can have negative effects on all aspects of a child's development. And it can have a lasting impact. Children who have been traumatized by violence have higher risks of school dropout, drug abuse, depression, diabetes, heart disease, and involvement with violence and crime. I don't want to live in a Jamaica where the children are so hurt by violence that they grow up to hurt themselves or to hurt other people. Do you? Do you? Hey, big man, log the little pinny. Go on with your sweetie, you can't trick me. Take your old car and go on where you a go. Pervert, me no wanna drive from yo. Pervert, me no wanna drive from yo. God gives to mankind little children. Stars we a shine. Don't kill them. You are got burn in a hell. You touch a little pig, me, me, I got tell. Kids don't talk to no stranger. Run and scream in a danger. From the earth children, electric cheer. Doors who agree, put your hand in a de ear. Doors who agree, put your hand in a de ear. So, hey, big man, love the little picnic. Go on with the sweetie, you can't treat me. Take your old car and go on where you a go. Pervert, me no wanna drive from you. Pervert, me no wanna drive from yo. Thank you for listening to our voices. Talk up you, Mr. Talk up youth and violence now.